Hello everybody, welcome back to another Wuthering Ways video. In today's video, we're gonna go over... Yes, another leak. Yes, I know I've been doing a lot of videos recently about leaks, but they just keep coming, so I'm gonna keep making videos on them. Today, we have a leak for 2.0. Yes, this is the first leak that I've seen about 2.0. Now, it isn't much, it isn't much, yes, but it is still something that's been leaked about 2.0. And if they're starting to get leaked already, we haven't even gotten to 1.2 yet. We still have 1.2, 1.3, and then 1.4 before we even hit 2.0. So since it's already the leaks have already started for 2.0, that's a good sign that we are going to start getting a lot of leaks soon about 2.0. So when I get them, I'll let you all know. But today's leak is right here as you can see and it reads Wuthering Waves next location slash area is called Rinasit. I think it's Rinasit, something like that, uh, is an Italian word apparently that means resurrection or rebirth. So the next area that we will unlock in 2.0, the area is actually called resurrection or rebirth. Now, that could have something to do with the story coming 2.0. It could have something to do with uh, maybe a character in 2.0 that's coming. I I have no idea. Um, I don't think anybody, nobody knows right now. But that is what was leaked recently about 2.0. It is just the name of an area such location called Renaissance, which means resurrection or rebirth. So... Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think that could be. I'm happy to hear your thoughts. But, no, that's not the end of the video. It's not going to be this short. There is actually another thing Kuro Games recently tweeted um, that I wanted to let you all see as well. So let's get right into that. So, as you can see here, this tweet reads, Dear Rover, Wuthering Ways version 1.2 in the turquoise moon glow is on the horizon. Here's a sneak peek at the upcoming improvements and a special note from the dev team. So this is actually, uh, well, uh, Kuro Games actually released, the, released this themselves. It is more information on 1.2 that's coming that they wanted to show us. So let me show you real quick where this link takes us to. So if you click on that link, you'll be taken to this page and it reads, Wuthering Waves Developers Message, Volume 4 version 1.2 optimization preview with a special note from the developers. Dear Rover, okay, we already read this. Version 1.2 optimization preview. Number one, new custom lock-on feature. In version 1.1, we implemented several quality of life improvements to the auto lock-on system, including optimizations for resonators and some echo skills. With the release of version 1.2, you'll gain access to the new custom lock-on feature under settings. Control. This option allows you to set the auto lock-on priorities for enemies based on your combat preferences. And they have a picture here. So lock-on priority, movement direction, camera direction, and distance. Now, I, again, I'm, I don't use the lock-on feature much myself in the game. I kind of just go free-handed with the camera. Um, that's mainly because I play, uh, I, I'm playing rather than Grace keyboard and mouse. I know that sounds crazy to a lot of you because I know a lot of you play games like this on controller because it makes more sense. But I am actually playing this on keyboard and mouse. So I don't typically use the lock-on feature much, but it looks like they are making some changes to it because I have, I have tried to use it a few times and I have had a constant issue where it just isn't locking on the the correct enemy that I want it to, or it, it doesn't, it sometimes it's just janky for me, and that's why I don't use it, I don't like it, but it looks like they're making changes to it, now I don't know what these three options mean, uh, movement, direction, camera direction, and distance, maybe, um, maybe camera direction, so, uh, when you, it locks onto the enemy you're actually looking at, not just the enemy that's nearby, movement direction, um, maybe the the lock on feature when you lock onto an enemy the camera actually moves as you move so when you're moving left and right the camera will turn left and right depending on the enemy and then distance um i i honestly have no idea what that one is um maybe the lock on feature will get stronger or weaker depending on how close or far away you are from the enemy 
Again, I'm not sure. These are just my guesses that I'm making, but we'll see in 1.2 when this comes out. But that is a nice uh, feature that they're changing. I'm happy to see that. Number two, new utility Hyperdroid shooter. I'm pretty sure I had a, I'm pretty sure I covered this in a previous video about this new thing coming uh, when I was talking about 1.2 leaks, but I guess now we actually get to see what it is. We've heard your feedback regarding the need to frequently switch between teams when there are no pistol using resonators of it. Oh my, oh my. Do you understand how annoying this was when I was doing exploration and there was things you had to shoot and I had to keep switching my characters around to a character that had guns. It was so annoying having to constantly do this with the exploration and they're finally doing something so we don't have to do this. Oh, I, I'm so happy about this. You guys have no idea. This this has been bugging me since the release of the game. So I'm just, thank you, Kuro Gates, for changing this. Thank you. Let me continue reading. Available for challenges like the Photon, Photon Vault and similar puzzles. In version 1.2, you'll be able to use the new Hyperdroid Shooter utility. One of the utilities feature is available. Once the utilities feature is available, you can equip the Hyperdroid Shooter in the utility wheel. To shoot with the Hyperdroid, simply tap or hold the basic attack button. More Hyperdroid features are under development. We hope this new addition will help you better explore Solaris. Solaris? Oh. Is that a new area that's coming or is that something that's already out or is that what this whole play? I, I don't know. We'll move on from that. But finally, as we can see here, this is what it is. So like, that's the little Hyperdroid. I'm guessing where you aim is where it's going to shoot. That's so nice. Thank you for adding this. This was something that was so greatly needed. I'm sure a lot of you are happy about this too. Maybe not as much as me. Maybe you are as happy as much as me, but I am over the moon about this. So thank God. Um, ah, I think you already know what this is. And I did cover this in a previous video. So let's have a look. New f Number three, new feature to store excess wave plate. A new feature to store excess wave plates will be introduced in version 1.2. Once you reach the wave plate cap, you will receive wave plate crystals instead. These crystals can be exchanged for wave plates of equivalent value. You will regenerate one wave plate crystal every 12 minutes up to 480 wave plate crystals. Once this limit is reached, you will not gain additional wave plate crystals. Okay. Now, the fact that they're adding this system, it is a fantastic thing. I think it is something that every gacha game with a system like this needs. They, it, it, it definitely needs it because not everyone can't be on their game every single day like it's anything can happen maybe they're too busy maybe they've got other games but like they, they can't be on it 24 7 right so having a system like this where you're not losing out on t precious time because you'll have to wait for this bar to fill up again if you don't end up using it it is a fantastic feature because it allows people to not have to maybe not hop, maybe if they miss a day Right, they miss one day, but it's okay because this uh, the excess wave plates will be stored over to this other, um, to this new storage system. Now, the only thing that sucks is it's only four hundred eighty. That isn't a lot. Um, honestly, I was expecting between one thousand and two thousand that you could store it up. Right. Um, I know that sounds crazy to you, but like, uh, put it put it this way, that's able to have people store up like at least a week you know so if there's like a week you're not playing because you're on vacation or something you know those will just store up for you so when you get back you can go in no problem but 480 is still better than nothing that's not double how much you can fill up but it is again better than nothing so i'll take it so thank you for adding this system crew i think it was greatly needed number four new resonator showcase feature with the release of version 1.2, you can view and display the convene scenes of unlocked resonators with the resonator showcase feature. Tap the avatar on the terminal screen to open the resonator showcase. You can display up to three selected resonators here. Oh, and this is showing it. Oh, that, I mean, that's, that's kind of cool. You can display the specific resonators that you're using and have their little showcase play if you're interested in that. That's nice. I think that's a nice feature that they're adding. Because, I mean, a lot of these characters are quite pretty. They're very beautiful. So having these little uh, showcase uh, thing is actually nice to look at. 
That's a nice little feature. Oh, this one. This is a big one that I'm sure a lot of you are going to be very happy about. Number five, option to play at 120 FPS. The 120 FPS option will be available on select PC devices in version 1.2. Stay tuned for our official announcements for more availability details. So now I know a lot of you like to, I know a lot of you play these gacha games and they're always capped at 60. I don't know why it's always capped at 60, but 60 frames is always the cap for games like this. Seems like Kuro is changing things up and they're actually allowing you to go to 120 FPS. So that is actually fantastic to see. Um, it, it, and I'm, I know I have a machine strong enough to run 120 FPS. So um, it is nice that I'll be able to play this uh, uh, higher frames, which would hopefully make the game look uh, and play smoother. Which I'm, and I'm sure a lot of you are happy about that as well, as long as you guys can do 120 FPS. But that's fantastic to see. Number six, new. Depths of Elus Elusive Realms Store Rewards. Oh, thank you for your love and support for Depths of Elusive Realm. As we approach the final stages of version 1.1's Dream Ablaze in Darkness event, the White Cat will bring new exchange items to the Elusive Store. To help you try out and level up more resonated, we will add more exchange items to the Elusive Store in subsequent versions of the Depths of Elusive Realm event. These items will be available at the convened events for the second half of each version are released. You will receive a system mail reminder after the exchange items are added. Please remember to exchange the rewards after fully exploring Depths of Elusive Realm. Oh, okay. So that, that, uh, that's, I'm sure you've all already tried that Depths of Elusive Realm thing. I actually fell behind on that. Um, I wasn't doing that as often as I should be. So I lost out on some rewards on that, but it looks like they're going to be updating the rewards you can actually get from it um, to better help you with the new resonators they release. Because obviously the new resonators that they will be releasing will require different materials and maybe new materials from new areas to level them up, including the actual level up materials. Um, but it looks like they're going to be changing that every halfway through every version to help you better do that. So that's fun. that's good on them. Thank you for that. Number seven, more guidebook activity points from a daily quest. With the release of version 1.2, the activity points reward for the spend 180 wayplays daily quest, quest, sorry, quest will be increased from plus 20 to plus 60. We hope this change will help you complete your daily activity points quest more quickly. See, I personally didn't have a problem with the daily uh, questing. Um, it was quite easy to do. Um, the system I did was I would go use my 180 wave plates and pretty much every single day I did that, I would complete at least two or three um, different daily uh, activity quests because a lot of them would just be like do a certain number of attacks or use your skill or kill some of my enemies, you know, stuff like that. So when I complete that one, it completed multiple. Then all I would normally have to do is just my daily quest, uh, like the daily quest you get every day. That's it. I have, uh, I have 100 points and it's done. If I don't have 100 points, I just complete one more random one and I say I'm done. But it looks like they're increasing the wave plates one to 60, which means all you will now have to do to reach that 100 points is just use your 180 wave plates and the daily quest. And that's it. That will definitely make doing the um, doing my uh, guidebook activity points and get it to 100 every day much quicker. So that is nice as well. And this is a special note from the developers. Version 1.2 in the turquoise moon glow is coming soon. In this update, we'll introduce the moon chasing festival event and dedicate ourselves to address any issues that have impacted your experience so far. We're well aware that many aspects of Wuthering Waves still have room for improvement and we're committed to listening to your feedback to continue, continually optimize and enhance the game. Together, we aim to create a better Solaris 3 and offer you more thrilling adventures. We are also excited to announce that everyone will receive the 5-star Resonate Zhang Li Yao for free during the second half of version 1.2. Stay tuned for more detailed event information. There you go, people. It was leaked that we were getting Zhang Li Yao for free and it was just a leak for a while. But they have just confirmed themselves, Kuro Games that we will be receiving him for free in the second half of version 1.2. So it is confirmed. 
Kuro Games is giving us a free five star. And and we've seen this five star in action, and he do, he actually looks like he's going to be good, like he's going to be usable, and people will actually implement him in teams. I I I honestly cannot believe it. Like they're actually giving us a, that's not a lot of gacha games out there ever ever be that generous. Never. And Kuro Games is out here giving everyone just a free five star, just like that. That's it. Honestly. I cannot believe it myself, but it is coming. So everyone be stay tuned to getting Zhang Li Yao in the second half of version 1.2. Make sure you're playing so you get him. Do not miss out. It won't I don't think it's gonna be an often thing they do. So don't miss your chance to get him when 1.2 comes around. We sincerely hope to jo hope to join you on your adventures and look forward to your progress and growth in Wuthering Ways. Thank you again for your dedication and support. That's it. That's that's everything that they've said. And honestly, I I am very very excited uh, for version one point two, and I am extremely pleased with uh, what they are doing. Um, like the free five star, all these optimization and changes they're making. Like they are actually listening to the community, and they are making changes based on what they uh, what we want to see like making changes based on what we think would make the game easier for us would make it more playable for us would make it more enjoyable and this has been a problem with gacha games in the past where they just do not listen to players they just do not listen and they kind of do their own thing and it only looks more bad on them but it Kuro games is out here now actually listening to their community and making changes to make everyone's uh, experience more enjoyable and that is so fantastic to see from a company like this and i i really hope that it's only uphill for them because honestly they deserve it um they deserve it for what they're doing at the moment so yeah that is that is it for this video it was a pretty long one but uh, i hope you enjoyed it if you have any more thoughts leave it in the comment section below please remember to like and subscribe and i will see you all in the next one Bye-bye.